Hello guys, ancient gameplays, I'm Fabio Pisco and welcome to my channel. Welcome to fucking. As for this video, I'm gonna talk a bit about uh, the newer mods, the new FSR 3.1 mods, and these have been out for quite some time since FSR 3.1 was released. I believe that Luke FZ took around, let's say, two months to make this happen, and now we have the Luke FZ Uniscalar version 11. And in case you want to know, yes, this is kind of a paid mod, and if you want to make your own mod, you can do, because AMD does, does give you the source models for FSR 3.1, so you can do whatever you want. But this specific mod is paid, and although you can pay it, like, it's like five bucks or something, um, and in my opinion, it, it is very worth it, because Luke FC keeps evolving and improving the mod every, every month. Like this channel that I believe that improves every month, or at least I try to make it improve every month. So, Leonine to this point. GVG Mod! Bringing you lots of software deals, like Windows 10, Windows 11, Office 2019 or 2021 with a new Windows 11 design. And for all of these, you can use my SKG discount code for 30% off, getting a Windows 11 serial key for $22 and a Windows 10 one for only $15. Then use the key on your Windows settings and you'll have an activated system. So you need to go to their Patreon here, for example, and support their, support them on their Patreon. Then you'll have a link for the Discord, and then you'll have a link for the website where you download the mods. As for now, we have the changelog with fixed FSR 3.1 frame generation only mode. Replace cars with our cars um, as the used sharpener. Nice. This should get rid of most, if not all, problems related to HDR or other or other sharpening issues you might have encountered with the older sharpener, while of course improving the image quality a bit. Also a very, very important thing, we have now implemented Antilag 2 based on reflex data. This uses the provided latency data from reflex and passes it into AL2, Antilag 2, so AMD users should now have reduced input latency when using the mod. Note that Antilag support when frame generation is only present when using FSR 3.1. So we have several interesting things like the ray reconstruction the ray reconstruction thing for the the nvidia users and also the anti lag 2 based on reflex for amd users as well so this is a big big thing but now you might ask well how do i actually install the mod it, is it really so hard to do is it really 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 hard yeah no it isn't especially for games that already support the LSS frame generation. If your game supports the LSS frame generation, implementing FSR 3.1 upscaling and frame generation on your game is even easier. And if the game doesn't support it, like any of it, like Silent Hill 2, for example, it still works, but the UI might bug a bit here and there, like when using AFMF2, the little cross that you have in the middle of the screen when pointing a gun, for example, you can see it uh, kind of having artifacts a bit, and that happens um, with FSR FG since uh, it doesn't have the motion vectors and so on. But in Silent Hill, that's basically that, just the UI, everything else works fine. Just an example. You want to put Uniscalar or if you, you, you want to put frame generation, let's say, uh, you can do it, for example, on Space Marine, but I already have it, for example, in The Witcher 3 and Cyberpunk. You need to go to the folder where you have the executable working, not the main folder of the game. In this case, X64, the X12, open it, and if you go down, you can see Witcher 3 application. So this is the folder where you have to put the Uniscalar. Then you open the Uniscalar, you just basically copy it here, bam, and then Uniscalar ASI, bam, and it is done. Now, let's just run The Witcher 3. I won't run MS Afterburner uh, right after because this is one of the bugs with The Witcher 3. Running 4K native and we have 53 FPS with the maximum settings aside from ray tracing, of course. And if we go to XCSS, for example, XCSS, we can select quality as well. And we go to 86. So nice, 90, a bit more. And the LSS appears to me even with an AMD card because we just installed the mod and as you saw it was literally copy paste for this game, so copy paste. Now since this game is different you actually have to go to the, to the options, to the display options and you have the LSS frame generation enabled and you enable it. It, is a, it isn't actually working flawlessly. Somehow we do have some bug here. And now it is working and we have no halos around Geralt everything's working fine and we basically just did a copy paste we didn't even configure the files because you can configure the files and still it is working uh pretty nice let me just check the hertz to see if they are on the monitor to see yeah 
120 something, 130 means that VRR is working. And, and yeah. And one thing that I found about the mod is either you use the option to select XSS in game or the LSS and so on, it does make the difference in the upscaler, even if it is using FSR 3.1, because FSR 3.1 will use the inputs of the, of the option that you select in the game. So if you select in-game XSS to actually use the mod, FSR 3.1 will use the inputs from XSS, like, like the vectors, the depth, the movement and so on. And if you choose the LSS, it will use the motion vectors and so on from the LSS, the inputs from the LSS, which is an interesting thing. But in terms of the, the options that you can configure, if you go to the file, you have the uniscalar.config.toml. You just have to open it with notepad or edit it with notepad. And you have several options like the upscaler, then uniscalar, blah, blah, blah. So uh, for example, upscaler, you can select here, you have FSR 3.1 and you can select FSR 3, which is actually FSR 2.2. If you really want to inject XCSS instead of FSR 3, you can do it and the mod will inject XCSS 1.3. And if you have an NVIDIA GPU, you can select once again uh, the LSS as well. So it's a very, very, very good thing and it will work with the LSS 3.7, I believe. In terms of frame generation, if frame generation should be enabled or not, you can use false or true. So if you just want to use the mod for upscaling instead of frame generation, you can do it as well. You can select the sharpness, you can select, um, for example, enables frame generation regardless of the in-game DLSS frame generation FSR3 FG setting. Ignore in-game frame generation toggle. And you can just go, for example, here, true. It will just enable frame generation, doesn't really matter. If you select the in-game frame generation or not, it will just enable it and it will work. And for Unreal Engine games, it's even easier. You just have to go here, for example, enable the fake NVIDIA GPU option. You make it true like this, for example. Then you go to the AMD Unreal Engine, the LSS workaround, and you go through once again, and bam, it is done. In Silent Hill, that's exactly how it works. I can go, for example, to Silent Hill. Engine binaries, Win64. I believe that this is not this one. It's this one, SH Proto binaries, Win64. And as you can see, I already have the mod here. Uniscaler, uniscaler.config.toml. And if we go here to the fake NVIDIA GPU, you can see through. And then AMD Unreal Engine DLSS work around through as well. And this will make the mod work. It's easy, really, really easy. Just copy the files to this folder, enable that fake NVIDIA GPU and the AMD Unreal Engine DLSS work around through, and it is done. Yeah, now we have some, some issues around the character as well. But we didn't have these before when I tested. So what the hell am I doing wrong here? I didn't change anything. <laughs> I, I, I honestly don't know what's going on. Maybe it's the recording. I don't really know because it was working well. As you can see in the video that I just released, it was working well. It was just the UI that was bugging. And now some, somehow the character is bugging as well. And I can't really understand that. It makes absolutely no sense. So I'm trying again, I guess. So copy the uniscaler here. Then copy the Uniscalar one, just the Uniscalar one. And by the way, in the ones that you actually go to the file and select a fake NVIDIA GPU, you also need another process. You need to go here once again, true. Then AMD DLSS workaround for Unreal Engine games, true. Nice, everything working fine and dandy. Now I need to go here to the stub NVNX G, GX, I guess, whatever. And then enable signature override. You do it, bam. And now it is done. So let's try again. So finally, I just did it from the start and I guess it was bugged or something. And although it is still doing a bit of it, it is much, much better. Look at it, the UI flickers, the UI has some artifacts, definitely. But in terms of the character movement, it is much better. Even when I move it really, really fast, it is much better. And all I had to do is just do it from the beginning. I guess, once again, it was bugged or something, but it is working now. As you can see, frame generation. And if you go to the options, we are running the LSS quality and the options are still bugged with artifacts and so on, but it is working. As soon as you go to, let's say, FSR3, you have just a normal one without any kind of frame generation. As soon as you select the option of the LSS, you go to the LSS and you are now using uh, FSR1 actually, FSR1 upscaling with the LSS inputs plus the FSR 3.1 frame generation and see, now it works fine. The UI is, is bugged, of course, but uh, 
the camera and so on, the character isn't having any issues. Somehow the, bo the, the mod just bugged and I had to redo, to redo the process again. But it is working, thankfully it is working now. Great, I guess. And another example where the mod is actually nice is in Cyberpunk 2077 where it's basically just copy paste as well. FSR 3 in Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the worst implementations that we have. And in terms of upscaling, it is actually worse than FSR 2.1 in most case scenarios, which is really, really stupid. For example, we have lots of shimmer. Look at the, yeah, the foliage there. It's just insane. Uh, and it is even worse in some case scenarios, for example, here. Yeah, it's really, really bad. Uh, and you need to have the upscaling enabled in order to use the frame generation. With this mod, though, you don't. And you can select, for example, XCSS. You can go for XCSS, bam. You use XCSS. And you have 39, 46 FPS. Because we're using higher quality. But again, we can use XCSS, for example, balanced. And we have 67 FPS. If you look at there, yeah, as you can see, basically no shimmer. Overall quality, much, much better. And now we can go here, frame generation, and enable the DLSS frame generation, which is basically the mod frame generation. And you can just go there, DLSS frame generation, bam, and you're now at 120, and it just works. So we have better upscaler, better upscaler with the mod, way better upscaling with the mod, and at the same time, we have frame generation. So better upscaling and frame generation all mixed together. It's a win-win in this scenario. If you look at it, we have basically no issues. Yeah, no shimmer whatsoever. The quality is pretty nice and stable. And at the same time, we have uh, frame generation working without the need to reboot and so on. It just works. It overall, it just works, it's much better, it's copy-paste. It works with XCSS inputs, which makes it work much better generally, apart from, apart from this one, <laughs> which really looks bad. But apart from this one, it just makes the game much more enjoyable with higher FPS. And if you go to a higher base FPS, because we still, we still don't really have much FPS here, we can go to performance, increase the FPS a bit, and now we have 140 and it looks even better. At least it feels even better. In terms of quality, the difference isn't really that much, but in terms of fluidity, yeah, much better, definitely much better. And well, guys, I just wanted to show you uh, some of the FSR 3.1 mods because you requested it, and as, I, and as I showed you, you can run them in almost any game. Uh, although the games that do not support the LSS frame generation, they don't have the UI input, so when you do the mod, the UI will get kind of bugged. But the games that do support the LSS frame generation, let's say like Hogwarts Legacy and so on, you can just go there, mod the game, mod FSR 3 frame generation into the game, and it will use the inputs from the LSS frame generation and the, the LSS upscaling, and it will use slightly better upscaling even with FSR, since we have FSR 3.1 now. And at the same time, it will use the, uh, well, the LSS frame generation, which will actually be FSR frame generation, but it will use it uh, uh, with the inputs from the LSS frame generation and it will just work fine with no UI glitches and so on. So that's really, really nice. If you want to do that, let's say in other games, uh, for example, Frostpunk doesn't need it, but in other games like Metro Exodus Enhanced Edition, it should work fine. It should work. I don't know if it works because I didn't, I didn't test it, but it should work fine. And in other games, um, for example, I did that in Thaumaturge. Thaumaturge has an FSR 3 frame generation bug where the frame generation doesn't feel fluid at all, but if I use the mod, it works fine. So that's just an example. We did that and we can do that in Dying Light 2 as well. You can just mod Dying Light 2 and it will use FSR 3 frame generation flawlessly as well. You can do that to Alan Wake, but it, it is a bit more tricky to a Plague Tale Requiem and so on and the games will work. So that's a very, very nice feature. And in most scenarios, all you have to do is just go and well, copy paste the files into the game folder and it will work. I tried it with Pell World as well and it worked too. It just... It's just that the UI would, would bug a bit, would, would glitch a bit because there were no inputs for the frame generation. But anything besides that, yeah, it just works fine. And it's really, really easy to use. 
And well, guys, I hope you enjoyed the video. Thank you very much for watching. Don't forget, hit like, subscribe, and share this video. And by the way, I really hope that more and more games keep bringing FSR 3.1 frame generation, uh, especially because it comes decoupled from the upscaling, or at least FSR frame generation in the game, games like Body Cam and so on. Fort Sol is also got updated. At least those games with, a, with at least FSR 3 frame generation FSR 3.1 frame generation if possible, because then we won't need to make these mods to, to make things work properly with FSR 3 frame generation, or when they come, at least make it work better or make it work properly like they didn't with Cyberpunk 2077, that, that works well, the FSR implementation just sucks. Frame generation works fine, but the FSR upscaling just works very, 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 very bad. Uh, so that makes no sense and the mod works much, much better. And you saw it, it just looks and works much better. Once again, thank you very much for watching, hope you enjoyed the video. Leave your comment in the comment section, let me know what you think about the mods, if you are using them, if they work for you or not. These work for AMD and NVIDIA cards and if you enjoy the video, once again, leave your comment in the comment section because I really want to know if you use the mods or not or if you want to use the mods or not. Just let me know. See you in the next video, I guess. <laughs> Cheers.